What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add or create spot elevation to the sloped roof of the structure and also to the footing on the entrance way. Okay, so the dimension will display the height from the ground level. Okay, so let's do this. So let's go to the roof plan and then let us put some spot elevation here. So let's say you want to check out what's the elevation at this point. So from the annotate tab, so you can click their spot elevation. So click that one. And then after that, from the type here, you can select the other types here. Okay, so by default, I'll just use the no symbol relative and then you can specify here if you want to have the leader line and then the shoulder line which is i want to see that on my spot elevation and then you can specify here the relative base which is uh, the current level and then i want to display here the actual selected elevation so i'll just click that one and then after that, that's it. So all you have to do is now click to place your spot elevation. And then you will notice, as you can see, every time you move your pointer, the value of the spot elevation changes because this one is a slope roof, right? So as you can see, it changes. So let us just put it here. So let's click. So that is zero. So let's pick that. So that's for the leader. You pick for the leader line and then you pick another point for the shoulder line. So click and there you have it. Okay. Then after that, just select here modify. And then you can still click that uh, spot elevation and then you can just tidy up that. There you go. Okay, so that's how you place it on your uh, slope roof. And let us try that as well to our footing on the entrance way. So let's go to the entry level. Let's open that. And then let's zoom in to this area. So let's say I'm going to put a spot elevation to this one here. So I'm going to select spot elevation. And then after that, um, for the display elevation, I want to show the top and bottom elevation here so i'm gonna select that and then i'm gonna pick here like that pick and then let's uh, pick somewhere here then pick another point here there you go and then select modify okay and then let's click that let's modify and you can still click that and change here let's say the single or upper value prefix so let's say you want to add a prefix so let's say i want that uh, top of footing so i'm gonna type tof space equal sign and then apply and there you go oh, let's say i also want that to my lower value so i click again the spot elevation and then specify here the lower value prefix. So I'll type here, let's say bottom of footing, something like that. And then I'll just apply. And that's it. Okay. So you can click that and modify. There you go. You can still select your uh, spot elevation and then modify here on the type properties if you want to create a new type or if you want to modify the graphics. You want to change the color, for example, red. Okay. And then uh, you can also change there the, the font. So let's say I'll just use here uh, Calibri. You can also change the text height and you can specify the text location. So instead of above the leader, you can change that to, let's say, uh, in line with leader and then select OK. And then that's it. So you can uh, resize that. Then you can just move it. There you go. All right, so if you go back to the roof, it's now updated. There you have it. There you 
There you go. So that's it for placing your spot elevation. Actually, there's another tool there that is spot coordinates. So it displays the north, south, and east, west coordinates of points in a project. So you can also explore this if you have time. Okay, so once again, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.